Prior to the arrival of the earliest space probes at the planet Venus, many astronomers proposed that Venus would be covered with vast oceans, earning its title as, quote, Earth's twin. However, what we found instead is a barren hellscape with the hottest surface temperature anywhere in the solar system. One controversial figure in the 20th century accurately predicted Venus's super hot temperatures and desiccated landscape. Emanuel Velikovsky, author of the best-selling 1950 book, Worlds in Collision, proposed that Venus entered the inner solar system recently as a cometary body, appearing as a terrifying specter in the earthly sky just a few thousand years ago. Based on extensive cross-cultural comparison, Velikovsky concluded that the planet Venus, prior to the dawn of recorded history, was ejected violently from the gas giant Jupiter. Its later catastrophic approach to Earth around 1500 BC provided the historical backdrop to the Hebrew Exodus. Despite Velikovsky's successful prediction, institutionalized science embraced the hypothesis that Venus was the victim of a runaway greenhouse effect perhaps providing a cautionary tale of our own planet's future. However, a recent scientific study on Venus's atmosphere suggests that it was never home to vast oceans, and in fact has always been, quote, bone dry. A science alert report describes the findings as follows. Venus's reputation as a cautionary tale of an Earth gone bad may have been somewhat exaggerated. We've thought that before it became the toxic hellscape we know today, Venus could have once been habitable, with oceans of liquid water shimmering on its surface. New research reveals that Earth's so-called sister planet may never have had liquid oceans, because it was not able to even when water was available. In fact, an analysis of the planet's atmosphere suggests that it has always been drier than a bone, inside and out. In other words, what would we expect of a planet that was recently the focus of an intense cometary electrical discharge? A clue is found in a 2013 Space.com report, which states, Planet Venus sometimes looks less like a planet and more like a comet. The statement describes the changes scientists have witnessed in Venus's ionosphere, much like a comet in response to the solar wind. Indeed, an early Space Age surprise was the discovery of Venus's cometary magneto tail, which stretches as far as Earth's orbit in the form of plasma current filaments. Most telling of all are the filamentary Lichtenberg networks seen stretching for thousands of miles across Venus's surface. With electrical discharge occurring in a high-pressure gas, the result is the kind of filamentary patterns seen so clearly on Venus. In other words, ever finer space science discovery has offered only increasing support for Venus's remarkable cometary origins.